In Elden Ring, you can get two sets of armor, two weapons, a spirit summon, and a death root, all at Galmir Hero's grave in Altus Plateau. I'm quickly showing the path taken from the Grand Dectus Lift to this dungeon on the world map, which travels through the outer wall of Landol Royal Capital. Starting in the dungeon, we'll head down to the first ramp. If you sprint and jump past the first set of skeletons, you can skip the first set of safe spots and reach the second safe spot with the skeleton archer before the chariot reaches you. Immediately dart after the chariot when it begins heading back down. This will allow you to skip another safe spot and also quickly reach the next safe spot after the chariot passes by. As a quick aside, you can explore the chamber here if you'd like, but I think it's just another way to travel between the two main ramp areas in this dungeon, and it's filled with annoying trash mobs. Let's rewind back to where we were before and take a quicker route that also gets us all the unique items in this dungeon. Back at the safe spot, wait for the chariot to turn around and move past you before sprinting further down the ramp, and begin rolling to travel down the path of lava. As you can see, the chariot on this level will not travel beyond the solid floor, meaning that you'll only have to worry about damage from the lava as you travel towards the bottom of this area. Head left at the bottom towards a hidden chamber where the ringed finger weapon can be looted from a chest. Heal up and then head back across the lava pit to the alcove on the opposite side. There's a hole you can drop through that places you directly next to the boss chamber. We'll hold off on fighting him until after we get the other items in this dungeon. Stand close to the nearby ladder and wait for the chariot to arrive at your position. Hop aboard to ride it back to solid ground, leaping off after it's turned around. Nearby in an alcove, there is a shade to fight, and it might be a random drop, but I got the Mantis Blade from this enemy the first time I defeated it. After doing that, make sure it's safe and then quickly drop down to the hidden ledge on your left. Head into the chamber where a Bloodhound Knight can be found. He'll drop his armor set once defeated. In this room, you'll also find the Gilmer Knight armor set free for the taking. After that, climb up the ladder and you'll reach some wooden planks above the rideable chariot. Carefully hop down onto the chariot when it's sitting still and ride it back down to the boss room. I don't think you'll be able to reach the ledge from the chariot's back, so instead you'll have to wade through some lava and make use of that ladder. All that's left now is to fight the boss, Red Wolf of the Champion. However you manage to do it, defeating this boss will reward you with Ashen Remains for Bloodhound Knight Blow. There is also a death route to pick up from the chest at the back of the chamber. Now as painful as it is to admit it, I think there might be more to this dungeon. In the other two heroes' graves I've explored so far, the chariots were able to be destroyed. This makes me think that there's also a way to accomplish that here, though I cannot fathom how. In addition, if you stand near the altar near the site of grace and look up so that the camera is angled into the ground, I think you can hear the sound effect that you hear when a treasure scarab is nearby. But again, I spent a while trying to figure out if there was anything more to this dungeon and failed to do so, so I wouldn't recommend spending too much time barking up this tree. That being said, if there is a way to destroy the chariots and one of you figures it out, please leave a comment telling us all how. I'm quickly flipping through all the items from this dungeon to show their stats and descriptions, so you can pause the video if you want to take a better look at anything. If you want to see more great Elden Ring guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat. Her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day. If you're here today, have a great Saturday and a great weekend. And as always, thanks for watching.